Saints Row the Third is just pure adrenaline field wacky fun. The game was originally released in 2011 and now it is on Nintendo Switch with Saints Row the Third, the full package. All right, I was kind of looking forward to playing this game. You can play co op with friends, it's going to be a really, really good time and all that, but then I got my hands on it and I was a little bit let down. I originally played this in 2011 and playing it now on Nintendo Switch, I am reminded of just how insane and wacky the game is, but it doesn't run super well, which is a huge bummer because ports lately on Nintendo Switch have been so, so awesome. The Mortal Kombat 11 port stands out to me as one of the best times I've had on Nintendo Switch, even though the game is a little bit ugly. Darksiders The War Mastered Edition is also a fantastic port. I was expecting something similar here with Saints Row the Third, and I am a little bit bummed to report that it just does not hold up. All right, so let's talk about it. We are going to show you a little bit of handheld footage as well, so you can see just how that runs. And we're going to talk details on all of this, but just right out of the way, I am not a fan of Saints Row the Third on Nintendo Switch. Okay, first off, let's talk performance. I think the game looks really, really ugly. And this is the Nintendo Switch, so I can't expect things to look the way that they look on other places. But for some reason, this game just looks like extra ugly for me for some reason. And maybe it's just that the gameplay itself isn't really fun. And I'll talk about the gameplay and the issues I have with that in a moment. But just graphics wise, it's not one of the best looking games on Switch or anything like that. And again, I maintain that Mortal Kombat 11 shows that you don't have to be amazing looking on Switch in order to still be really really fun this is an open world game so i will give it credit for that we don't have a ton of open world games on nintendo switch especially not like this right we have shakedown hawaii now which is an open world game but that's pixelated it's 16 bit and it is completely different we have dragon's dogma which does run a little bit better but that's a different type of open world game here we have a giant city we have a lot of vehicles to drive we have a ton of people we have a bunch of missions like there is a lot in this game it's still like really really cool but yeah, concessions had to be made visually, and I wasn't super happy with it. Uh, it doesn't run at a great frame rate, and that's the biggest issue. It does that thing, and Doom does this, but I got used to it in Doom. I just can't get used to it here. Where the frame rate is, like, not high. It's not 60 FPS or anything. So you have to aim by moving your character, and I don't like doing that. Obviously, I like aiming with the right stick. That is how you should aim. But I just couldn't get the controls to feel right in any way i messed with the sensitivity a bunch and it just never ever felt the way i wanted it to feel so i was just not a fan of how the game plays overall either i tried to go into the menu see if there was gyro or anything like that there wasn't any at the time of me playing i don't know if there's gonna be a patch at some point or anything like that but for now the gameplay wasn't fun visuals not fun there was this audio bug and i'm gonna show you it here But, you know, you're riding on the side of a helicopter shooting at other helicopters. Again, this is like an insane game. And, like, the sound of the gun is, like, so, like, muffled. And it sounded so bad. And it was, like, out of sync. It was just not a good experience at all. So, sound was bad. Game is bad. Frame rate, like, dips when it gets, like, really busy. You're not really seeing it happen on screen right now because this isn't, like, a, a like super busy fight or anything but when it does get like crazy and there's explosions everywhere the frame rate does dip the resolution isn't all that high to begin with and i was just hoping and expecting for more with saints row the third and I, i'm let down i was never gonna fully play through saints row the third again on nintendo switch i've played the game a couple of times now since it was released first time was in 2011 and then i eventually played it with uh, friends on pc at a different time and yeah, I've had my fill of Saints Row the Third. One of the best games in the series. But yeah, the Saints Row series just might not be for me, period. It is like really insane, right? And if you're just looking for like pure fun, it, it's good. But yeah, the story doesn't really grab me. The characters are all over the place. Maybe Saints Row just isn't for me at all. And the Switch experience kind of just reinforce that but i also played handheld mode and that is where i kind of had the most issues and uh let's move over to handheld footage now and my hands were hurting when, when playing in handheld mode here what you're saying i'm 
you know, playing with a pro controller off to the side, but I did just play like laying on the sofa with like the switch in my hand without a pro controller and it felt not good. My hands were like cramping up and it's weird. The switch has that effect on me every once in a while, like a game just like doesn't work super well in handheld mode for me at least and my hands will like cramp up and it mainly happens in shooters I don't know why it just doesn't feel all that comfortable Maybe if I were using a grip or something like that I would feel a little bit better But yeah, this is one of the ones that kind of cramp my hands while playing with the joy-con attached You know playing with the pro controller obviously feels a little bit better But then the game doesn't look very good in handheld it performs a little bit worse yeah, it is just not my jam overall. I'm gonna leave a few more minutes of handheld footage here so you guys can check that out for yourselves. I might have felt better about this game if it wasn't $40, but you can get so many better experiences on Switch for $40. You can get Mortal Kombat 11 for 50 on Amazon. It's only $10 more and it's like super, super cheap. Darksiders, the War Mastered Edition, which is a great port because it lets you pick. You can either play at 60 FPS and have it just like look a little bit worse or have it look a little bit better but you play at 30 but the frame rate's still pretty steady darksiders is a perfect example it's a shining example of how ports should be done on nintendo switch and for me saints road the third just doesn't live up to what i've been seeing out of ports lately there has been a lot of really really good stuff and uh i, I usually like deep silver games and this one just wasn't for me so maybe get something else if you're really really looking forward to it i don't think you're gonna be like hating the game or anything is if you've experienced it before i don't see why this is something that you need to experience again because it's gonna look and run way worse and while that is the case for other ports those still maintain the fun and for this one at least in my case i didn't really find too much of that fun that i did experience back in 2011 in 2011 it was one of my favorite games released that year so it's not like i hate saints row the third i don't i actually enjoy it quite a bit so i am a little bit confused about why this just isn't clicking for me probably a combination of, of, of everything i was cramping up my hands in handheld i've been playing handheld a lot more lately so that's how uh, i've been just spending most of my time with switch and this one hurt my hands so yeah i'm not experiencing saints row the third again anytime soon let me know if you guys are in the comments below were you excited for this and are you kind of bummed out <sighs> I still think it reviews like decently well, but maybe it gets like, you know, high sixes, low sevens, but yeah, maybe avoid this one or wait until it's on sale. For me, $40 is a little too much, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the footage and we will catch you on the next one. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell if you found the video informative in any way and you want to watch more Switch related content from us. We bring it to you every single day. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. You guys are amazing and we will catch you on the next one. Switch Force out.